All praise to the Most High God, Yahweh. Okay, that's the Most High. We, we give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who the world really calls Jesus Christ. God. Okay, we are the fishermen for Zion, brother Endure. Brother Kwan. Okay, we out here at the end of this Sabbath. Okay, we're going to continue on. Okay, as the night session roll in, and we're going to bring out these scriptures, man, because we're living in the last days. Okay, it's a lot of things that's happened on the earth. Nobody knows what's going on, and nobody's going to the Bible to see the answers. Yeah. Okay, so let me, uh, Genesis 49, 1. Genesis 49, chapter in the first verse. Okay? Rovers. Because we're living in the last days, man. Okay, we're living in the last days. A lot, is, a lot is going on. Okay, war. Okay, it's already starting. World War III is prophesied in the Bible. Okay, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yeah. Prophesied in Deuteronomy 28th chapter, in the 68th verse, that they were going to slavery on slave ships. Okay, Jeremiah told us that we would be discontinued from our heritage. Okay, so what's going on in the last days? All right, how you doing, family? Hey, brother. Hey, brother, how you doing, brother? All right, praise man. You got a second? Uh, not really. I I pick up my kids. Kids. All right, all right, all right, all praise. And hey, y'all Israelites according to the Bible, okay? God's chosen people. Okay, let's see what the Lord said. Bring it out. This is Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. Jacob, okay, is, 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 his name was later changed to Israel. Okay, he had 12 sons. He's a progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, gather yourselves together. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Which shall what? That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Okay, which shall befall you in the last days, man. Okay, your grandma been saying that for a long time. We're living in the last and evil days. Okay. okay, they say that in the church. Okay, but how do you know what's the, the last days? Okay, you got to go through the prophecies of the Bible. Okay. okay, the Israelites will have to fall from their nationality. Okay, the so-called white man has to be revealed as the man of sin, according to the Bible. Bring that out in 2 Thessalonians. Okay, 2, start at verse 4. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians. Okay, so the so-called, if you didn't know, okay, if you didn't know, okay, breaking news, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Bible. This is we in Fairville, North Carolina, Panda, 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 Panda. Okay, this is Fairville, North Carolina, man. Okay, the truth is going out in Fairville, North Carolina. Okay? Bring it out. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, uh -huh. by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the what? By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And by our gathering together unto him. And by whose gathering? And by our gathering together unto him. So this is possessive, man. The whole Bible is written by a people, to a people, and for a people, man. Written in codes and similitudes, man. Written in metaphors, okay? Read on. That ye be not soon shaken in mind. That you what? That ye be not soon shaken in mind. Don't be soon shaken in mind of these things that that, that, that are foretold in these scriptures. Okay, read on. Or be troubled. Or don't be troubled. Don't be afraid, man. Because the Lord is our rock. He's our salvation. Okay? He sent his son to come save us from our sins and from our wrongdoings. Read on. Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us. As from who? As from us. As from us, man. So the prophets of old, they, they, this, this is written by the prophets. We are the children of the prophets. Okay, we wrote this book, man. These are our stories, our historical records. Okay, read on. As that the day of the, as, as that the day of Christ is at hand. The day of Christ is at hand. Okay, the day of the Lord is going to be great and dreadful, man. Okay, it's going to be a lot of death, man. A lot of death, a lot of killing, okay? And, and, and it's going to be a great uh, resurrection, man. A great saving of the Israelites. Getting beamed up by chariots, man. And taken to the land of Israel. Saved from the hand of all that hate them. God. Okay, read on. Let no man deceive you. Do what? Let no man deceive Let you. Let no man deceive you. A lot of our people have been deceived by lies, by philosophy, vain deceit, religions. Okay, being a Baptist, being a Muslim, a lot of our people were saying that they Muslims. Okay, I'm a Muslim now, following rappers. A lot of people have been deceived, man. God. Okay, read on. Let no man deceive you by any means. By any means, by no means, man. No matter how soothing their words may be, don't be deceived, man. If it's not thus saith the Lord, don't believe it. 
We know. For that day shall not come. That day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. A falling away of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, fell in 70 AD when they were uh, seized out of Jerusalem. Okay, and they had to flee into the mountains. Okay, they had to flee into into the um, west coast of um, West Africa. Okay, then that's when the, the Hamites, the real Africans, and the Arabs, they rallied them up and they sold them to the so-called white men. Okay, the day of the Lord shall not come unless that happens first. And what else? And that the man of sin. And who? And that the man of sin. The man of sin is the so-called white man. Okay, his biblical nationality is Edom, Esau. The man of sin be revealed. Be what? Be revealed. The man of sin must be revealed. Bring it out in Luke 24. Who's the man of sin? The man of perdition. Okay? The man of lawlessness. The man of just homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia, all types of wickedness, man. Abominations, man. Okay? The Seven. man of sin. Uh, Luke 24 and 7. Come. This is the book of Luke, chapter 24 and verse 7. Verse Luke chapter 24 and verse 7 it reads uh -huh. saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinners the and sinful men the what the hand of sinful men the son of man was delivered into the hand of the sinful men okay which was the Romans the so-called Romans right today there would be the Italians the Edomites okay he had to be delivered into the hands of the sinful men okay and so you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all got to wake up and know that, man. Give me Luke 13 and um, 3. Luke 13, chapter it's verse 3. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 3, and it reads, I tell you nay. I tell you what? I tell you nay. I tell you nay, but... But what? Except ye repent. Except ye repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Except ye turn from your wicked ways. Okay? Acknowledge your sins. Okay? Acknowledge the law of Moses, man. Okay? And Esau just off, man. You know? Just profane. Okay? Read it again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you nay. I tell you nay. But except ye repent except ye repent ye shall all likewise perish you're gonna perish meaning you're gonna die in your sins okay the christian church tell you that the so-called laws is done away with but they take up tithes and offerings okay what is sin sin is the transgression of the law okay if you're not acknowledging the law of moses which is the law of the most high god you in, you, you know you lost you in sin man you don't know what's going on Okay, so if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways in these last days, you're going to die, man. When World War III kicks off, that's prophesied in the Bible, okay, you're going to die. Jacob's trouble, okay, you're going to be stranded, you're going to get caught out there. You're going to be caught out there, man, okay? But what happened? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all didn't want to hear the words of the Lord. Y'all, You didn't want to hear Jeremiah. You didn't want to hear Isaiah, okay? You didn't want to hear Zephaniah. Yeah. When he was saying, yo, gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together, man. We got to come together. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they don't want to come together. Okay? They don't want to come under one consent and say, you know what? Let's follow your house box and your house shop. Let's keep the law, statutes, and commandments. The so called white man is the devil. They've been killing, raping, and robbing us, man. Let's come together, man. Let's keep these laws, man. Let's build our nation, man. Okay? But y'all don't want to do that, man. Y'all want to be rebellious. Y'all want to hear smooth things. You want to hear the Lord said this, man. I got a word for you, okay? Give me Isaiah 29 and 11, okay? Y'all wanna, y'all wanna hear some things, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Oh, 38. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Verse, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry, verse 8. Okay. Now, now go, write it before them in a table. Write it before them in a table. And note it in a book. And note it in a book, the same way that Moses did. Okay, all of the prophets, they wrote down the words of the Most High and put it in a book. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. For the, the time to come forever and ever. Okay, for us to understand end time prophecy in these last days. Okay, for the children of the Most High to go in these books and say, okay, this is what Jeremiah was talking about. This is why, okay, this is what Daniel was talking about. Okay, this links up with Revelation. Okay, this is what Ezra was talking about. 
Okay, read on. That this is a rebellious people. That this is a who? That this is a rebellious people. A stiff-necked people, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all rebellious, man. Okay? The Most High God gave us miracle after miracle, man. Okay, just freed you out of Egypt. Okay, gave you manna from heaven. Okay, you still want to be rebellious, man. The Most High had mercy on you by sending Isaiah the prophet out, by sending Jeremiah out. By sending Zephaniah, Amos, Ezekiel, Daniel, okay? By telling Paul to go get you lost sheep of the house of Israel that are scattered abroad, sending you out. He gave us mercies and mercies time and time in. But this is a what? That This is a rebellious people. A rebellious people that don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. Right? Read on. Lying children. Lying children, man. You rebellious and you don't want to hearken into the words of the, Lord, the Most High. That's witchcraft, man. Okay? You got the spirit of witchcraft on you. Okay, bring it out in first um, Samuel. first Samuel, uh, fifteen to twenty-four. Okay, you don't want to hear the words of the Lord in these last and evil days. This all we got, man. All we got is this Bible, our faith in Christ, man. Okay, this all we got. Okay, cause this world is nothing but vanity. Okay, no hope. Okay, just lawlessness. Okay, all manner of wickedness. Okay. Bring it out. This is the this is First Samuel chapter fifteen and verse twenty three. For rebellion. For what? For rebellion. Rebellion. Is, on. is as the sin of witchcraft. Is as what? Is as the sin of witchcraft. If you rebellion against the words of the Lord, that's the sin of witchcraft, man. You might as well be a witch and a wizard. You might as well be trying to read people palms and you know just do all manner of wickedness. You rebelling against the Most High, the words of the Lord. That's the sin of witchcraft, man. And what did the Lord say will happen to a witch and a wizard? They must be killed, man. Okay? Read on. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And as stubbornness as the iniquity and idolatry. But instead, y'all want to say, well, I know the Lord, and, you know, I do this and that and the third. Y'all just talking. Y'all just...